Hi guys, I want to share with you a review for Aistura. This is Ata Beria 365 Cleansing Water. And the product is suitable for you who have a dry and sensitive skin because it's a moisturizing cleanser. It even says suitable for weakened skin as well. This product is available at Cherish. Don't forget to get it there and then I will give you the link as well. Um, the product is uh, slightly different from all other cleansing water that I have. And why? Because when I'm using it on my skin, it feels like it does moisturizing the skin. Like it's not dry and it definitely don't break the skin as well. It does leave the skin like a silky feeling. You know, like how can it so slippery? Like it's really, really silky, you know. So for you who really like a squeaky clean feeling, you probably will wonder, is this clean or not? Is this clean or not? But you can see it on your cotton pad that if it's already clean, then when it's clean. Like using it is very normal. Just damn a cotton pad with it. Use as much as needed. No need to be too much, just make sure the part is all damp. Just apply it on the skin. If you happen to using a super waterproof product, you probably want to use something that cleans those makeup first, that hard proof makeup, that sweat proof, waterproof, hard to, you know, clean, rub proof, everything. Then using this one as a double cleanser. I'm already do some swatches here this is all my this is all of the stuff that was difficult to be clean some of them are maybe a little bit wet do i have to wait until they dry this is a creamy liquid matte lipstick that's hard to clean this is mercy eyeliner which is one of my favorite eyeliner because it stays on my greasy eyelids fabulous right it does stay this one is Jafra liquid. This is uh, another eyeliner, another liquid um, lipstick that I've been using also and it's quite good. And this is also another eyeliner that is really, 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 really good, like Gabby. No, it is Gabby. And then, let's just try to swipe it off. Gently but surely. As you can see, some of the mascara. Because it is really the product that I'm using is the one that I know that it's really hard to clean makeup without oils. But when I'm rubbing it off, it's still clean. Ta-da! Still clean, right? See? Still clean. By the power of rubbing and the other very cleansing water. Clean it up again. Rub it up, it up. It's clean! I might need to be a little bit more slower so the water can break the particle first then it's clean dun, 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 dun. wow it may not be as easy as a cleansing oil because some cleansing oil you just you know massage the skin and then it will dissolve I mean not dissolve but they will take away the part but since the cleansing water needs cotton, like on some part, you know, like the eyes, you need to be, you know, it depends on the cotton pad as well. And the cotton pad is really gentle and the cotton pad surface is really soft and cottony and comfortable to use on the skin. Then yeah, it will be comfortable to keep rubbing it off. But um, we prefer cleansing oil because it's using on the hand, right? And then we just keep massaging it before we're using. So just one or two swipes using the cotton pad like keep rubbing your skin with the cotton pad it's not really comfortable right it will i know for me personally like the cheek area it will become red and irritate and then they will become so angry so in the end yes it's a good cleanser but for you who love hardcore makeup like i do the one that's really waterproof the one that really you know powerful and stay clingy on your skin and it doesn't want to break apart easily or uh, if not using 
cleansing oil then you probably need to remove your makeup with the makeup remover first the one that tough and hardcore especially for the eyes area or the lips then you use that cleanser first and then makeup remover first then use this one as a double cleanser it will take away everything the skin will feel clean comfortable stay moist and ready for skincare and the moist feeling it does last it even feels better than my dry skin <laughs> so do I recommend the product yes definitely if you happen to have a uh, dry weakened skin you can definitely try this product it's highly recommendable by me thanks for watching the video bye